Hi, it's Brooklyn, and I'm going to share with you all the things that I've gotten as a study abroad student living in Madrid, Spain for the past five months. I wish we could say we're starting off strong, but we're not. This is what my very first purchase in Spain was. I got this at Humana, which is a very popular thrift store in Spain. This was 17 euro. However, Humana is known for having sales. So for example, there could be a day where everything is only five euro or everything is only three euro or everything is only two euro. It's just ever so slightly too short on my wrists. I feel like this is the equivalent of when your pants are flooding and your ankles are showing. I was looking at myself in the mirror and this woman came up to me and she was like, que va bien or something like that. And I knew that it meant, oh, that suits you well, that fits you well. And so I was kind of on the fence about it. So for this stranger to come up and compliment me on it, I felt like I need to purchase this. I got these cargo pants from Bershka at the same time that I purchased this shirt. I like this shirt so much. I've actually been meaning to go online and see if it's still in stock so I can purchase it again. I also got this shirt from Bershka for my best friend. My next item is super exciting for me because of honestly where I got it, what it looks like, the backstory. So I got this piece when I was in Morocco for the first time. I bought it in Tangier. One of the days in Morocco, we went to a scarf workshop. And in that workshop, you see how the scarves are made. You have demonstrations on different ways to wrap and style the scarves. And then at the end, you get to buy them. And this is one of the higher quality top scale top tier scarves they had a variety i want to say the scarves ranged from five euro to 20 euro and the thing about where i was in morocco tangier specifically what they do is they can take euro or moroccan durham so one euro is worth approximately 10 durham this is a reversible scarf so we have sort of a brownish side that's got this beautiful gold detailing on it and then on the reverse, we have this really deep red. This is so stunning. I actually posted about this on Instagram. This next piece is a corset from Bershka. Oh, actually it's not called a corset, it's called a belt. What I love about this is first of all, the color, and then the fact that it comes with its own, um, I'm just gonna call this a pocket. My next item was a free gift from me, Universidad. Universidad Pontificia Comias. And one day during, I wanna say the last week or two of class, they were giving out free hats. So this is the hat I can wear if it ever gets too sunny, if I feel like repping my school, you know the vibes. Next, we are going back to Morocco to get yet another scarf. Look at how gorgeous this is. This chocolate brown, honey, get into it. You cannot tell me that this scarf is not gorgeous. On the reverse side, we have similar gold detailing. I'm really proud of this scarf, not only because it's beautiful, but also because I got it for a bargain. The last scarf was from the same exact scarf shop. It was 20 euro. This baby, I got this for 10. The second time that I was in Portugal, my friend decided to try surfing. So while she was out surfing for the morning, I went to go get breakfast and I was looking on the maps and I found this breakfast spot that had good reviews. It also had a beautiful name. The name of the breakfast spot was Brooklyn. So I walk into the restaurant and the first thing I notice is the music that they're playing. They're playing black music from like the 60s, 70s, 80s. And there was something about that space that just immediately made me feel like I was at home. And then as I'm looking around the restaurant some more, I noticed that they had these tote bags. I decided to get the black one. And what I really like about this tote bag as well is that it also says, spread love it's the brooklyn way and it was so fitting because literally the day before i was having a conversation with my friend about how one of my life mottos is do everything with love and for love and so 24 hours later for me to be walking into this restaurant and seeing spread love it's the brooklyn way i was like it really is the brooklyn way i have two more scarves i got one for me and one for my nana so this is the one for my nana it's this beautiful blue color and then if you open it up, this one is also reversible. The next scarf I bought is one that I immediately fell in love with because it has similar colors as the colors that are on the cover of my favorite book, which is called Firekeeper's Daughter. I fell in love with the book. I fell in love with the author and the way that she is telling the story about this young indigenous woman who's working to save her community. I could do a whole other video on how much I love that book. And then this is also reversible. I'm not really a fan of this side. It just, it's too much going on. I don't really love the colors. Two more things that I got when I was in Granada was this evil eye necklace. And then I also got this necklace, which got tangled up. And then last but not least, in terms of clothing, I got three pieces from Stradivarius and it's actually what I'm wearing now. So I've got this white top and then these pants, which are linen drawstring pants. 
and the pants actually have a matching top. This top is currently on hiatus because it got torn in the washing machine. I put all of my clothes in Madrid on the Delicate Cycle and somehow, despite it being on the Delicate Cycle, it still got ripped. I'm going to take this to the tailor so hopefully they can sew it back up. It's not a big deal, but this is not the first time that my clothes got ruined in a clothes dryer in Europe. So I would advise you bring a washer bag when you do use uh, wash machines. And that is a wrap on my video. If you have any questions at all about being a college student, studying abroad, life in Spain, you can DM me at being Brooklyn on Instagram or you can simply leave a comment on YouTube and I'll get back to you.